Okay, so today I will attempt to remove carburetor from my 2023 Tahatsu 6 horsepower outboard. The reason for it is that um, recently I started having bugging down issues. Whenever I would run at full throttle, the engine would bug down. It would like stop propulsion. The thrust would drop to zero and I would have to drop down throttle and then steadily increase throttle again in order to gain speed so it's pretty new I'm not sure what could have caused it there's uh, a hundred different reasons for engine bugging down but this motor was barely used I've used it in reverse a few times and then one time I've taken it to the ocean and that's when I started having issues I washed it after the ocean flushed the engine with fresh water but uh, when I uh, taken it to the lake I started having issues so I've hit uh, my propeller uh, I've hit some rocks when I was going out to the ocean and I thought that I spun the propeller I changed to a new propeller and then I've taken uh, this motor to the river again and again at high rpm I'm having these issues of uh, engine bugging down whenever I would run at full throttle I realized that I actually used 87 octane gasoline and the Tohatsu they recommend 89 at least so when I realized that my fuel system might have clogged up from cheap gasoline I bought some sea foam added to the internal tank filled up with gas and just I just ran it dry the reason why I did that because the additive might dislodge any type of gasoline byproduct that could have accumulated in a filter or in any lines. It will clear it up, but then it will still get stuck in a filter or possibly in a carburetor. So I decided to just run it through the system before I remove and clean uh, my carburetor and before I change my gasoline filter. Okay, so first thing we'll disconnect this fuel hose from the carburetor. Okay, and I'm just gonna push this thing down. Perfect. And then we're gonna remove these two big bolts. They're the main ones. They're holding up carburetor. And I'm gonna use 10 millimeter socket. Use it. Okay. Once the first uh, bolt is removed, there's more space for the second one. Otherwise, it's kind of difficult to remove that second one on the side. And you can finish unscrewing it with any type of screwdriver. Okay, be careful with these, don't lose these. So as soon as I unscrew those two bolts, this little plastic piece fell down right away. So just be careful, don't lose it. Another thing I wanted to mention about this overflow. So I'm using external gas tank for uh, my six horsepower Tahatsu. And uh, whenever I would prime uh, gasoline, gasoline would start coming out from uh, underneath. And let me show you. So it would start coming out from these. At first I wasn't sure if that's normal or not, but I guess it is. It's just an overflow of gasoline in case your carburetor gets overfilled with gasoline. Now, in order to remove this throttle piece, what you're gonna do, you're gonna, you're gonna turn your throttle like three fourths. Once it turned three fourths, you're gonna see that it's easy to align there's like a little hole so this metal piece you can easily slide it and basically you align it with that hole in the middle and you just just push it downward and then it just comes out just like that and that's it very easy probably should have removed this first but doesn't really matter Okay, I'm with this thing now. Okay, perfect. And then this piece is your choke. Okay, so I just you just turn it to the side, and it just easily comes out. 
Okay, so it's like this. Just gonna turn it to the side and boom, easy. And then you're just gonna pull pull these up and these two hoses they come out. That's it. Okay, so now we will take it apart and screw these two bolts there and then we'll just put it overnight in a solution and uh, hopefully it will cover up and fix our our issue with our motor okay so we're just gonna screw these well okay so I'm just gonna remove all this rubber piece from here before I submerge it okay and then let me see what else can we remove on this piece also okay and then I think that's pretty much it oh, this one also especially when you're doing this for the first time okay so a tiny one goes in the middle and then the, the bigger piece goes in the back okay now so I bought both of these I guess both can be used I think I'm gonna use this one I've read a lot of good reviews on this one Plus, it should there should be a dip bucket inside of this can. So I use sea foam to add to my internal gas tank and uh, to clean up the fuel system, fuel hoses, lines, carburetor, everything. And then I remove the carburetor, and I'm gonna soak and dip carburetor, and then I will change inline fuel filter, and hopefully it will solve the issue of my engine bugging down. So let's open this can together and see what's inside there. It's a little bit pricey, $40, but you know, you want to do whatever it takes to fix your ass. Oh, perfect, look at that. And there's your dip basket. Oh, nice. That's perfect. All right. So I think I should be wearing gloves. So after soaking for about 12 hours in a carb solution, I rinse it with clean water, let it air dry, and it's ready to be assembled again. Okay. And this one goes in the back somewhere. There it is. Okay, so on this back plate, this rubber gasket. I'm gonna put it back. Okay. Now, when installing the back plate of the carburetor, there's potentially two ways of installing it. This way, or this way. This way would be the wrong way. So just remember that this drain, the fuel drain, should be on the side of the fuel connector. Just like that. Okay, then we're just gonna use two screws and attach uh, this bracket. Just like this. This will go on top. Perfect. 
so now on this side you can see a little curvature right there that's what we see in a carburetor so just putting this downward a little curvature like I don't know if you can see but right there on the corner so just gonna need to align it with the curvature on this side this is your throttle just tilt it to the side and that's it okay just put the, those two big bolts in I'll just come out on the other end like that okay so once you push once you push those two bolts through okay you can just attach carburetor okay just use a screwdriver okay. and then I'm just gonna use a 10 millimeter socket to tighten it perfect that part is done okay this part is done so now we're gonna install throttle so just remember turn the throttle open three-fourth of the way okay so we're gonna put inside the carb first just like that and then just like turn and on the throttle side you will see that little hole in the middle you just uh, push it in there and up that's it perfect yeah it looks good there uh, install rubber piece back in okay so now test and choke perfect throttle everything seems like it's doing its job okay so we will replace this fuel filter also since i've taken out my carburetor we're gonna remove this piece from here and just gonna try to pull this thing off filter so another thing that i would like to mention was uh, buying fuel filter it was kind of difficult to get to Hatsu original filter from the website I found some on Amazon and then I found some in local store website said that uh, this part number is compatible with uh, to Hatsu but as you could see there's the difference original one is longer it has a bigger container inside definitely this piece can hold more fuel than this one okay so now carburetor is installed now we're gonna change the new fuel filter i've bought this one off amazon it almost looks identical to the original one we're just gonna okay looks great okay guys so i think we're having a little problem here this is what happens when you buy an amazon parts from china so right now watch when i'm priming a uh, external tank gasoline is coming out from here from this filter wow terrible can't use this filter okay 
Okay, so we got a we got a different fuel filter. Hopefully, this one doesn't leak any fuel. Okay, so let's try to start this motor. Restart position. Neutral. I'm not gonna even pull out that. Okay. That's interesting. That was a quick start. We're gonna need to test it on water and see if that issue of bugging down engine get fixed or not. So it looks like after running that sea foam and then uh, cleaning the carburetor and changing inline filter, the bogging down issue been resolved. I've been running at full throttle and it's running just as new. I'm very happy about it. Looks like uh, using old fuel and not draining carburetor after each use probably caused some of the clogging uh, within the fuel lines. As you could see, no bugging down. Anytime I would run it at full throttle, the engine would just drop to zero and then I had to turn down the throttle and restart it again in order for the motor to start uh, propulsion. So now this is how this motor is running now. 